it's evening chore time, and before we go uh, do our evening feeding, I just wanted to show you our finished product. The drill restoration and rebuild is complete. We have totally gone through each and individual unit on this uh, machine uh, with new bushings, new bearings, uh, new gauge wheel tires, new seed firming wheels. Uh, there's just not much that we did not do, so it should last a long time. This uh, system here on the John Deere drill uses a single depth gauge wheel beside the disc opener. And I keep saying drill because this is not a planter. Uh, what we plant the corn and the beans with is a totally different machine than this one is. We use this one for small grains such as wheat. It also will uh, plant uh, soybeans, but we don't use it as near as much anymore because it's not nearly as accurate as our planter because our planter has a seed or a air delivery system for the seed and this here uses what they call a fluted uh, delivery system. In this seed box up here that holds the seed, every seven and a half inches there is a hole in the bottom of it and a seed cup and in that seed cup is what they call a fluted wheel and it's made kind of in a star design but with about eight or ten points on it and it rotates and that's what catches the seed and there's a slide on the other end down here that you adjust back and forth and it opens and closes those seed flutes this is how much you're putting on so it's it's not a very ultra accurate system it's the best we have for wheat and stuff at this point in time but uh, that's one of the reasons that we just kind of use it for the small grains but uh, it's sure nice to have it as a backup machine if we do need to plant soybeans in a hurry or if uh, if uh, the planter was to happen to go down and we couldn't get parts for three or four days or something like that but uh, we're glad to have it done it was a major undertaking uh, took quite a bit of shop time to, to do it but uh, now that it's finished uh, we can move on to the next project this is the opening unit on a, a John Deere drill and we have here the uh, single disc opener which is actually what slices a trench in the ground. This main arm here and the spring keep down pressure on it uh, which is adjustable. This here as we move up and down there's a lever back here that you can adjust the depth of the seed and that's by bringing this wheel here up or down uh, to adjust that. Immediately following the seed dropping in the ground, there's a seed firming wheel here that is spring loaded that kind of presses that uh, seed down on the ground for good seed to soil contact. And then this steel closing wheel that runs at an angle finishes closing up the trench and sealing over our row. Uh, they've used this design for a lot of years now. It's a very dependable design. Uh, works really well in hard, dry conditions. Uh, the only uh, manufacturer that uses this particular type of opener uh, is John Deere. Uh, so uh, that's why we decided to go uh, with this because it's what they consider to be a, a no-till drill. We can just pull into a field and uh, drill wheat or uh, whatever it is we're wanting to seed that particular day. It can also be used to renovate pasture with the grass seeding attachments. You can put some grass seed up there, run it over your pastures if you so desire in the spring and interseed for a better stand of grass. I don't know what our next project will be, but with this one completed, it's ready to go back into the shed. We probably won't actually use this until all oh, about uh, September uh, for our uh, wheat uh, this coming fall but we wanted to get it all rebuilt and stuff while we had the downtime this winter here in the shop uh, to, uh, to get it done. And, uh, it's just nice to have the option to be able to uh, work on your own stuff and uh, and get it ready for the year ahead.